Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to create this clean and minimal title in After Effects. To start we're going to create a new composition, it's 5 seconds long and I'm going to drop my background into it. So let's press shift and resize it so that it fits, okay. So first we're gonna do the boring part which is animating the rectangle and then we're going to add text. So let's click on layer, new shape layer and let's add a rectangle and a fill. We're gonna use a white fill and I'm going to set the size of the rectangle to 550 so that it's big enough for the text and I'm going to create a position keyframe. Then I'm going to press shift and page down uh, once, then page down twice, so that moves us to the 12th frame. And I'm going to create a second keyframe. Then I'm going to press end, which will move me to the end of my timeline. Create a keyframe there, press shift and page up once, and then page up twice, which will move the playhead 12 frames backwards. And I'm going to create a second keyframe. So now let's press Ctrl D to duplicate this path and let's select the layer and press U. So let's take these two keyframes, select them and I'm going to move my playhead um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 frames from the beginning and I'm going to offset them there. I'm going to do the same thing at the end. I'm going to press page up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times and I'm going to offset these keyframes too. So right here at the first frame I want to set the X position of the second rectangle to minus 550 so that it is all the way to the left and at this keyframe right here I want to set the X position of the first rectangle to 5 152 so it's all the way to the right now on this keyframe I want it to be 550 and on the last keyframe I want it to be minus 550 so basically we've done the same thing um, it's just in reverse now if I play this animation nothing special is happening so we need to add merge paths and we need to set it to intersect so in any place where these two rectangles intersect our fill is visible. Now select this layer again press U to show these keyframes and let's select all of them hit F9 to easy ease them and open the graph editor. You need to right click and enable speed graph and then we're just going to adjust these handles uh, so that the graph looks like this. And we're going to do the same thing right here at the end. Adjust these handles. So we have this graph and this graph and they pretty much look the same. So we have now animated this rectangle. Okay, let's grab the type tool and add our text. So I'm going to type in After Effects Tutorial, okay. And I'm going to select the last word and set it to regular so that this looks a bit more interesting. Then click on the align panel and align the text layer to the center of the composition. I'm going to rename this shape layer to main shape. Then I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate it. I'm going to rename it to shape mat. Then I'm going to duplicate the text layer and I'm going to rename it to text mat. A mat defines the transparent areas of another layer. Let's put our main text layer on the bottom. Then let's put the shape mat on top of it. Um, we have the text mat and the main shape on top. 
click on toggle switches and modes until you see the track mat and now we're gonna set the track mat of the main shape to alpha inverted still nothing's happening and then I'm going to set the track mat of our main text layer to alpha inverted 2. So let's open the shape mat layer and let's edit its contents. So we no longer need the merge paths and we no longer need the path 2. We just need the path 1. And as you can see now once I've deleted it uh, the text is no longer visible but as I scroll with the playhead the text layer becomes visible. So let's play the final animation. That's it for this tutorial. For more please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.